What are some ideas? Oh my gosh. Well, I always say if you're wanting to create more income in your life, then start with these three things. What are your current resources? What are your personal interests? And what are your unique skills? And can you monetize any of those things? Whether mm -hmm. that's teaching a course online, renting a space in your garage or a room in your house. Um, it could be you love to create art. So you want to sell something on Etsy. Um, maybe you have the energy. And yeah, I always say, you know, people come to me a lot and say, Holly, I want to create residual income. That's what I want. I want it now. And the truth is that residual income, at least substantial residual income, meaning income that you put in uh, most of the effort up front, and then you get paid out over a long period of time, that's residual income. It takes time, capital, and or energy to create. So for the person who um, wants to get into real estate investing, well, how do you acquire that first property? Right? Maybe you have some capital from an inheritance or money that you've saved. Um, you know, maybe you want to start, um, there's a course that you love and you want to help sell it. You know, you want to do affiliate marketing. Well, affiliate marketing isn't something that you just send out one email and then you make money forever. It's something that you continually nurture and provide value over time to create that residual income. And so I think that, you know, again, going back to that mantra that life is for living, like let's enjoy it. Let's make positive impact while we're here in our life and other people's lives. And the way that we do that is when we create from, again, that open place, a heart centered place. Because if you lead with, you know, I just want to create money, the money doesn't follow. Money follows mm -hmm. impact. So what impact can you make from your current situation?